of lives for yeah. failure of the second of the life. Do we have a motion? There's no motion, there's no second. If we don't have a second up, then the motion lapses. Yeah. And that's the end of it. Yeah, move on. Move yeah. on. Okay, good. Um, motion to draft a new constitution. That a new constitution to be drafted to change the entrance of the joint community council similar to, similar to the inner staff county community council. The ICCC constitution is to be adapted as the new entrance of constitution. Drafts be presented to the coming meeting of the entrance of the final version to go to the 2009 AGM. Um, well, back background, we did some constitutional changes back in 2016. One of them was to change to a structure somewhere, something like the Inner South Canberra Community Council. For those of you who are not aware, the Inner, Inner South Canberra Community Council, Gary has been chair of it for a long time. You can't I'm the vice chair. You're the vice chair. Yeah. Deputy chair sounds nice. Deputy, deputy chair is. <laughs> um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are no individual members. The members are representatives of each of the suburb um, residents associations. Look, not quite very close, so if I may. Yep. The, the, um, yeah, very, very briefly, because it's getting late. Um, the committee of the ICCC is comprised of two representatives from each of the residence groups in the in South Canberra. So the committee includes two people from the Deakin Residents Association, the Oaks Estate, etc. So how, how many there's suburbs about, do you have? We have about eight. Right. So there's about 16 of those. Um, and then the membership of the ICCC at large vote for the remaining committee members. And they are a um, chair, a deputy chair, um, a treasurer, a media a secretary, assistant secretary, treasurer, assistant, uh, it goes on, and, and, and uh, a um, webmaster, which is me because we can't find anybody to do it. Um, and so that's that's the committee. So the, the purpose of that was to make sure that the, the residence groups, um, in effect, control the committee so that you, you couldn't have an election at large of, of uh, committee members, you know, that would take over the the committee and not represent the views of the residents groups. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I probably should have said first is that the ISCCC is an incorporated association um, member. It, it is the membership is comprised of people like us who can join, um, pay a five dollar membership fee, and it is those members who must be residents of the South who can vote for the members of the committee who are not appointed by the residence groups. So you have individual members? We have individual members. We don't have a lot um, because we, we see ourselves as a, as a federation. We have enough ordinary members to keep the show on the road, mm -hmm. but we like to encourage people to join the residence groups rather than the ICCC itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And but if, if we started again, we would look at whether we, we actually had ordinary members. We, we might become a federation of the, of the residents groups completely. Yeah. Mm. And okay. just, if I understand it correctly, it goes back into history, but a lot of these residents groups have been around for a very long time. Yes. And after a little bit of argy bargy and a bit of head bashing, you got everybody together and said, okay, let's form the inner south. That's right. I was one of the 2,000 convenings of the ICCC about eight years ago. Some of the groups have been around for a long time. Yeah. Oaks Estate has been around since 1926. Mm -hmm. uh, so a very long time. One of the features of the constitution of the ICCC is to um, try to encourage the creation of residence groups in areas that, that didn't have residence groups. So we've been successful in the last few years at, at having created residence groups in Forest um, and Red Hill. Um, and Kingston and Barton. Um, and, and so we think now we've got pretty much most of the inner South Cullen. The only area that, that doesn't have a community council, uh, a group is, is uh, parks because no one really lives there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so do you have a committee meeting and do you have a general meeting? We have a month? committee meeting. What we, uh, we have a committee meeting once a month. 
they are uh, public, and uh, but we um, no one comes to it, even though we advertise them. Once every couple of months or so, we have a public meeting which we advertise, and we have the speakers along, and, you know, mm -hmm. discussions and that sort of thing. So we do have public meetings. Uh, we um, one of the things we have, of course, uh, because we're a federation, our public meetings are. Um, in effect, conducted through the residence groups. So, you know, with the Yarralama Residence um, Association will have a meeting. Well, we sort of badge that as a, in a South Canberra meeting as well, because we get money from the government to pull the link between the community and the government. We, we see that a residence group meeting is, is really a meeting of the you know, South Canberra Council. Is your um, constitution on your website? It is. Okay. I think we need to have a look at this. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're proposing that we do it yeah. along those lines. A lot of detail to get to come back. We yeah. may come yeah. away, come back and say, we don't like that bit that he has. We may wish to change it, all that sort of things. Yeah. We're, not, we're not saying we're adopting it wholesale. No, no, no. no, no, no. It wasn't that. I'm just saying. Yeah. The, the, motion, the motion is to go, to go down this line. Yeah. Yeah. That's the easy part is yes. making the motion. The hard part is drafting the constitution. <laughs> Before I sit down, I'd like to. Um, I'm available to help if, if that would be useful. I drafted it in the South Canberra Constitution. I read that. Where are you? And if I can help in any way, let me know. Can you? Um, can I? No. I, I, I just a question. Uh, something I didn't understand. You said uh, in the committee there are then uh, of the different uh, residence groups. Yes. Um, two. 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 And. Do they come to each committee? Mm -hmm. um, most of them do, mm -hmm. you know, but from time to time, <laughs> residence groups sort of come and go into the yeah, activity, yeah. But, but, but usually we have a, a good attendance of committee members. Just yeah. to right. say there, um, mm -hmm. for Neil and Turner and myself and Braden, we can't get residence groups, it's maybe because it's more transient people or units or whatever, but we, so, um, where sole representatives have our suburb in there. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah. Yeah. You have. Yeah. Term yeah. still has the occasional yeah. meeting, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. We do have a, um, this isn't the time we had to go through it all, but that constitution does have a, a statement as to what you need to do to be able to represent your community. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be a formally incorporated residence group. The Red Hill Residence Group um, is not an incorporated association, neither is the Forest Group. But the rest of them are. So you know, we, the groups can be informed. Providing there's a once a year annual general meeting to show the some sort of support for those that come along. It's not one person. That's right, yeah. yeah. We aim to avoid one person taking over and running the suburb. We, we need to have an annual meeting so there's at least people vote for someone. Yeah. People have to know that the meeting's on. Yeah, they do, and, and we, good point because some people don't like to advertise it. Yeah. We insist that we have a Fly every little yeah. box advertising the meeting, so if you don't come along, don't say you didn't have a chance. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Harry. Um, you might have let yourself in for some work there. Thank you. Um, thank you. No, thank you. All right, so the easy part is passing the motion, the hard part is drafting the Constitution. Um, <coughs> Copy his. Uh, uh, yeah. Now, we charge you. Too late, Tom. Are you moving that, Paul? Yes. Uh, do we have a second, up? Yeah, oh, Mary Ann was first, I think. Is that all right? Um, anybody want to speak for or against, or can we put the motion? Well, if you vote against it, we don't have to do the work, so I'm happy to. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll vote against it. I'm happy to vote in favour of work for somebody who's not me. All right. That, all those in favour? Oh, all those show of hands. Those against? No. All right. Pass without the dissent. Oh, listen. Now, ah, can we form a working group? And Paul, can you convene the working group? I'll, I'll look after that. All right, so Paul Costigan is the convener of the working group to draft the new constitution. We have a couple of people already, and um, that person down the front knows yeah. he's in the target already. <laughs> <laughs> I know what this pulls. I know why he's in the target. We've already, already, well, I have already conversed with him about this. Yeah. Yeah. I have to make him an honor. Review of the territory plan and with the planning and development act. Uh, now, it's a review of the territory plan, but I'm 
good if it's 9.30, yeah. but you really should wind this way. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I agree. Second. We move that to the next meeting. All right, can I have a show of hands? Who wants to close the meeting now? Show of hands. All right, it looks like we close the meeting now. Okay. Nice to get something up.